at that little guy. I think the theme song of this week has been slip sliding away, though, everybody on these roads. It's just been brutal. Yeah, we got more of that coming up. We have a report from Mike Seidel. He is in Virginia, where it's so heavily. That's right. We'll be right back. Stay with us, everybody. storm that could be just as dangerous. Its name is Dion and has the potential to produce some big ice and snow in the east. Yeah, rough times for drivers ahead. Dion driving into the east coast, but overall is affecting more than 40 million people in 43 states. It's a situation that's evolving even as we speak. Storm specialist Dr. Greg Postel will break down the critical timing and the impacts and Mike Seidel on the front lines in Leesburg, Virginia. It may be snowing now, but this is all going to change the ice across the Baltimore, D.C. area. I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel west of Washington in Leesburg, Virginia. We'll check out how much ice accumulates and the impacts coming up. And we thank you so much for joining us with this special edition of Weather Center Live. We're going to keep you in the loop as this weather rolls forward. I'm Kyla Groban. I'm Keith Carson, and we're going to bring you this extended edition, of course, because of Dion and its impacts are widespread. Indeed. So it could be devastating power outages or treacherous travel. It's all part of the package with this storm. Yeah, it's got all kinds of precipitation from ice and snow and some rain in the south. Look at D.C. You can see the tower cam there showing you some pretty decent snow. But Philadelphia, heavier snow because you can't even see... You can't even tell what you're looking at. That's not a good sign. And uh, this snow will bring its first measurable snow to places like New York, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., a little bit ahead of schedule. Let's take you now. Baltimore driving north into town on I-95, and there's some heavy snow there and the temperature of 34 degrees. And we've seen the front end of Dion being pretty strong, dropping an inch and a half to two inches an hour of snow uh, right away. Kyla? All right, yeah, so we want to let everybody know about the things that can be dangerous in this storm. And, of course, one of the biggest things that can be tough is ice accumulation when we start to see that. And we see the snow coming down right now. If you take a look there, you can see in Baltimore, 27 degrees. But then we were looking at some of these tower cams, right, and we're starting to see very low visibilities and the potential for ice to come in in the areas that you see in the purple just south of Annapolis. That's where the icy conditions are likely to be found. So if you can stay off the roads, a great idea. Hope you're home and safe. Yeah, not on I-95 where the visibility is really bad where the snow is. And then, of course, you get further to the south, and then you start to get into the danger with the ice on the roads. Now, Virginia, one of the places that is certainly in play today for the icy conditions and the rain and the snow, and they are set to see their first measurable snow since March. Meteorologist Mike Seidel standing by in Leesburg, Virginia, where the flakes started flying early today. Mike. It's been snowing in Leesburg since mid-morning, but it's been bursting at times like it is right now at about an inch an hour. It's very dry, powdery snow. Look at this. It just comes right off the car. It's like confectioner sugar because the temperatures are 27 to 28 degrees. Notice what it's doing to the roadways. Now, they have been salted, but again, when it snows this hard and it's uh, 27 degrees, it's going to stick. And uh, that's causing problems on the roadways here across northern Virginia. We're about 45 minutes uh, northwest of Washington on a good day. Today's not a good day. What's going to happen, though? The warm air comes in a loft, so whatever's coming down will start as rain. Maybe freezing between there and here, so we'll get some sleet or ice pellets, but by and large, certainly after 5, 6 o'clock, it's going to be freezing rain, sticking to the limbs, the tree limbs. They can snap because of the stress, the weight. They'll come down on power lines, 
So more than likely, we're going to have at least some power outages out here west and north of Baltimore and Washington. Later on tonight, and certainly before sunrise on uh, Monday morning, we'll start to see the temperatures get up to 32, then 33, 34, first in town inside the Beltway, then out here in the northwest suburbs. And that will end the icing situation, but by then the damage will have been done. So a uh, bad day and night for travel across this area, uh, off, up towards Baltimore into Philadelphia, and the first flakes of the season, first measurable snow, also heading into New York, but not as many issues except at the airports. All three New York City airports in Philadelphia, they're all under delay programs, running more than 90 minutes right now in Philadelphia, and we've had more than 190 flights canceled so far at nearby Dulles International. We'll keep you updated. Now let's get the latest from Dr. Greg Postel. Greg? Yeah, thanks, Mike. You know, I've got some updated information for us on Philadelphia International. They now have a ground stop until 1.45 p.m. for this. Let's look at the snow. I've got a tower cam out of Philly for that. You want to know why they have a ground stop? Look at the tower cam. There's basically zero visibility there. This tower cam is up a little bit higher than, uh, obviously, than the ground, but the visibility, say, on the runway, I believe, is about a quarter of a mile or less at times with a heavy snow band moving through. We now have upgraded information from the National Weather Service here looking at our maps. We now have a winter storm warning out for places here shaded in the darkest blue that does include Philadelphia. So winter storm warning now for Philadelphia and parts of central Jersey going all the way back into western Maryland and into western Virginia. Snow becoming more of a problem than we thought earlier. And I also want to point out that National, Reagan National, is under a ground stop as well until 1.15 for heavy snow moving through. And if you look at the radar, if it comes through here, this is why we have all the problems on the I-95 corridor right now. All this blue, that is the heavy snow, and I think there's going to be at least six inches, maybe more, seven, eight, showing up later on in that band. Stay tuned. Let's now send it over to Keith for parts in the western sections of Winter Storm.